Hello YouTube, Hissmaker1 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to take care of your own violin. Now there are violins, there's electric violins, there's a lot of different types of violins. So right now, when you first have your violin and lay everything else aside, you should have a nice hardened case for your violin. Now this is one very uh, hard, you can lay it on the ground and everything. So before we go ahead and get started, Violins are amazing instruments to play, but you must respect them and you must treat them with respect. Um, you must take care of them, you must clean them, and I will get to that later. But first, opening your case. As you can, as you know, there's ways you can open it. Now, usually when you open it, your name tag, like this right here, wherever you got it from, is uh, up front and then you have your two pockets. They're usually always front and never back. Don't flip it around and open it back because everything will fall out. So go ahead and just pull these up and lift it. Now this is a chin rest. This is something you attach to your clarinet, uh, psh, excuse me, violin when you're going to play so it can rest on here. Find the perfect size your music teacher or um, some type of expert can help you with that. So right now, I'm going to be discussing how to hold the violin. Now, there are many parts to the violin. And um, here it is. It's the violin. When you hold it, always hold it by the neck. This is the neck in this uh, area. Now, you guys are probably wondering why I have this on here. Why I have this on here is when I'm going to hold the violin, I can lean it against something like this. And usually when I have without any hands, and this can support it. Now usually, this is what this is for usually, so it can help you, you don't feel a lot of pain. But here's the violin. You have the notes. You have D, E, A, G. Those are all the notes. Now, um, for, ex excuse me, for, um, excuse me, I'm sorry. For usually, um, the violin, there's a lot of parts to it, but don't ever hold the violin by the strings or anything. Hold it by the neck. So, uh, there is the violin. Right in here. Next up, we're going to go ahead and go over the bow places. When you're going to go and play your violin, this is called an adjusting screw. And right here, you have the fog, frog, or fog, whatever you call it. Then you have the bow hair, which you don't really want to touch the bow hair because it can get dirty. Then you have the bow. So, adjusting screw lets you take it. When you're going to play, you should do this when you play and when you're done playing. So go ahead and just uh, crank it towards this way. And your pinky should be able to fit right through it. Uh, pinky. Like that. Now, really, honestly, you don't want to touch the bowstring just because of bacteria and things. So I'm going to go ahead and play for you. So when you have it. Have all your fingers in here. All four fingers, never count your thumb. Oh, sorry. So uh, there's me playing it. Now, when you're done, just go ahead and crank it towards the other way. Er. Should look like that. Now, for cleaning, use an old sock or a uh, special cloth and just wipe all that off. Get it all clean. 
So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and clean it. This is, should be every time you're done using it. So just try to fix your way up in there. Have a nice clean stick. There's a nice clean stick. Now for violin, I'm just going to go ahead and lay that in here. I'm just put that towards this way and hook it. For violin, just go ahead and wipe in the middle. This in here. This shouldn't hurt the violin. Just get it good, because you want a nice, clean, healthy violin. So uh, there it is. There's the violin. Usually, the way you attach uh, your chin rest and things like that is by a, a rubber band. You just uh, put the violin over. Hook it in like that. So when you hold it, it gives you something like that. And it's a lot easier to hold like that. Um, could be um, for bow holding and things like for things like that you have this little thing I don't really know what it's called just go ahead and just uh, sort of just plank your fingers and this is a perfect bow ho hold I, I got taught so just go, go ahead and sort of pra practice this with a pencil and uh, Go something like that, and then you do exercises. Oh, uh, seesaw, or you just uh, lift that, press, but you don't whoops, move your wrist. And check to see how you're doing. It's more like a hook, so you want to push it and things like that. Another is practicing one, two, three, four, four of these, which I've already went over all of them. Uh, here's some note cards. Another thing is a uh, beginner's book if you're just learning how to play. It shows you everything. There's this. This is on the violin. The scroll, the peg, the peg box, the nut, which I will show you on the violin. The scroll, the pegs, the peg box, the nut, the fingerboards. The neck, which is right here. Up about, which is right there. The C hole, down and down in here. The fine tuners are right there. Uh, and buttons right down in there. So those are all the parts of the violin. And for the bow, you have well, the, the tip, the stick, the bow hair, the winding, adjusting screw, the furrow, and the frog. So I was right on that. Good beginner's book comes with the CD and everything. When you're placing your violin back into your case, just always remember to put it back in there gently. And just uh, sort of close it. Lock it up. And there you go, YouTube. Uh, comment, rate, and subscribe.